What's up, everybody? My name is Tyler from College Express. Welcome back to another episode of College Conversations. And today we're going to be kicking it off with a hot debate in the college community. Because March Madness is starting this week, I want to jump into the hot debate of should college student athletes be paid to play? Now we're going to be tackling both sides of the debate, so let's get down into it. Let's keep the focus on March Madness for a minute. March Madness is one of the most watched sporting events in the United States. CBS Sports and Turner Cable are paying $8.8 billion to extend their broadcast rights for March Madness from 2024 to 2032. You do the math. That is a whopping $1.1 billion per year. However, the money being made off the event isn't going directly to the players or even a little bit to the players. And that doesn't just extend to the event itself, but it also goes to their likeness, being used for merchandise, being shown off on television and series, and also into video games. So shouldn't the players be getting compensated somehow with all that money coming in? Counterpoint to all the money coming in and students not making money on that is most of these students are actually receiving scholarships and other benefits. So why should they get a paycheck on top of that? Free tuition, room, boarding, books, and other basic needs can be fully covered, adding up to an average cost of $65,000 per year. Now, I don't know about you, but when I got uh, my first job coming out of college, I wasn't even making near that. So getting paid to go to college for $65,000 and also graduating without any debt is a huge benefit. And these athletes are really there just to get an education. Most of the college students that are going to school are graduating with debt and they have loans, which is piling on. So these athletes are already better off financially than their classmates. College is all about getting an education to prepare yourself for the real world, and the schools are supplying that already, so why should they be receiving a paycheck? At the same time, college athletes are at risk for injury, a much higher risk than the average college student. They should be getting paid for their risk each game because if something happens while playing, they're not going to get anything in return. What I'm saying here is if somebody is on the field or on the court anywhere where they're playing actively, and they get an injury, they run the risk of carrying that injury for the rest of their life. So if they blow out their knee, they could be walking with a limp knee and not being able to get a job that if they were interested in previously, that requires physical exertion. Not only to mention that their career as a professional athlete is blown at that point, but it could hinder their future careers as well. I'd also argue the point that if students start getting paid, that their drive is going to start to diminish. College sports play is some of the most competitive type of play you can watch on a day-to-day basis. These players are hungry to prove they have what it takes to be up there with the pros and are pushing themselves every day to the limit. That's pushing themselves in training, pushing themselves while they're in the game, pushing themselves to prove that they belong there. If they start getting paid, it's possible that they'd no longer push themselves as hard and the competitive play is going to start to drop. They wouldn't push themselves as hard because they don't want to really exert themselves unless it's for a playoff game or something along those lines because they run that risk of injury. So if we go back and look at the injury, why be pushing and running the risk because you're already getting paid? A lot of the colleges are actually double dipping here too. Not only are they drawing in crowds for the sporting events and they're being televised and showing their school's name off, but they the students actually become part of the college's advertising campaigns as well. So a school is now able to say, hey, look, we, we have this big name athlete. He went here, see what he went off to do. People are like, oh, you know what? I actually I've seen him around before. That's awesome. I've seen that. I've seen the games on the on TV. I want to go there and I want to attend this school specifically because of that sporting event. So schools are not only being able to use that person uh, and and gain seats in the stadiums, but they're also gaining those seats in the classroom. So colleges are getting a little bit advantage on both ends and still the students not seeing any pay. So we really need to rectify that. What it really comes down to is it's more complex than just A and B, as we've been stating above. There's a whole new set of rules that we have to think of when we're going to start paying athletes. 
So one set of rules just doesn't apply to all players. That's a fact. Nobody's equal. Nobody's even. Should players be being paid based off of their skills? Should all be play or should all players be paid the same? Should all sporting events be paid the same? Should basketball, baseball, softball, field hockey, all those things be paid exactly the same? Who's going to pay for the players? Is it going to be the school? Is it going to be whatever events hosting them? It doesn't make sense. So when you really start to think about it, it becomes more and more complex. And that's one of the reasons why we shouldn't be doing it. We should be focusing on what is important and it's their education. It's not getting the paycheck. Not all sporting events are drawing in the same crowds and generating the same amount of money. So how do you keep it fair across the board? Focus on the education. Don't focus on the paycheck. All right, so that wraps everything up. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comments below and tell me if you agree or disagree with any of the points that I brought up, as well as bring your own points to the table. Let's get a discussion going down there and try to figure this all out together. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button so that we can keep producing more content like this and consider subscribing so that you get more information up to date every single time we post out a video. Follow us on collegeexpress.com and all of our social media to get all sorts of content just like this. We look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.